Z's Allison Bruner continuing our coverage of the threat of these schools shutting down. She spoke to neighbors to get their reaction. One school on the chopping block is Southwest High School. Some neighbors who live in this community sharing with me that they are okay seeing it leave. Others not so much sharing stories of why this building is part of their family. Eddie's called this Brookside area community her home for more than four decades. She learned Thursday morning the school, which is now known as the Southwest Early College Campus, is up for closure. It's really sad. Difficult for her because her family has an emotional bond with this building. Building. Well, my husband died here several years, and both my son and daughter went through the Southwest. However, some across the street have seen firsthand the ups and downs of the former Southwest High. In the year we moved here, it changed to being an empty school. It was nice and quiet. It was all those kinds of things. Then it became various other creations of the school district, some good, some bad. A couple years ago, you could almost tell what time it was by whether the fire department or the police had arrived. Not only has enrollment at the school dropped significantly, but graduation rates have decreased as well. A building once full of minds to be molded could now simply sit empty and doesn't sit well with some. It's such a big building that we don't see the western sun set. It's like having a mountain range across the street. Moving forward, neighbors agree something needs to be done to save this landmark. I'd love to see the building used for some kind of school purpose. I hate to see a building sit there empty. The Kansas City School Board is set to vote on this in January. Before that, they are holding several public meetings that you can attend. A full list of those on KSHB.com. In Kansas City, I'm Allison Brew reporting for the Now KC.